Hello guys, here in CL, one more dining game on the late code cam solving video and in today's video we are solving our 438 question by the name of find all an anagrams in a string. So yeah, that's our question number 438 which we are solving in today's video. So please like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to all the notification bell also so you never miss over these type of videos on this channel. So without taking it any time, let's move to the computer screen and let's do our coding with laughing in today's video like i've told you in my introduction i am solving a 438 question by the name of find the all anagrams in a string so yeah in today's video i am telling you about it so let's start and let's see it so let's see now it is saying me it is given me a two string by the name of s and p there are two string by the name of s and p now our task is we return an array of all the start indices of p string okay anagram p uh, p and s uh, string anagrams in s you may return the answer in any order means it is saying you it is saying me and you we return the output means we return an answer in any type of order so let me uh, uh, told you detail in the word file now here it has me say me here it give me one two string by the name of s and p okay there are two strings by the name of S and P. Now our task is we return an array of all start indices of P's anagrams in S uh, in P string anagrams in S string. Then you may return the answer in any order. We return the answer in any order. Please highlight it in any order. Okay. So because we return the answer in any order. So please highlight it. So in our case one here he created one string by the name of S in which he writes C, B, A, E, B, A, P and A, C, D. And then here he created one more string by the name of P in which he, uh, string by the name of P in which he writes A, B, C. And the output will be coming 0, 6 in the list form. Why? Because the substring with start index equals to 0 is CBA which is an anagram of ABC and the substring with start index equals to 6 is BAC which is an anagram of ABC okay so I have understood so in our case one our output will become 0 comma 6 so let's see our case 2 in our case 2 here he created one string by the name of S in which he write A B A B and here he created one more string by the name of P in which he write AB and the output will be coming 0 comma 1 comma 2. Now the sub uh, the substring with start index equal to 0 is AB which is an anagram of AB. The substring with start uh, index equal to 1 is BA which is an anagram of AB and the substring with start index equal to 0 is AB which is an anagram of AB. So that's why in our case 2 our output will become 0 1 2 in the list form in our case when our output will become 0 comma 6 and our case 2 our output will become 0 comma 1 comma 2 so i understand uh, so i hope you understand it understand it, this question so let's try to solve this question to solve this question you only want to do it come on to your google and when you come on to your google now here i have already opened that file uh, so let's try to solve it and these are the constraints which we have used in today's video to solve this okay so let's start so first of all i zoom it now now first of all we want to do it enter press first of all we define if statement in which i founding the length of our s uh, string and then smaller than now here i find in the length of our p string return here here we return our square bracket then backspace enter now here i output equal to square bracket enter enter then count and then s and then when we define here s then comma then define here count p and why i am defining s and p many times because s and p is uh, mentioned in the question like uh, like if you read a question for more time it has been t uh, told you here he given a two string s and p so that's why we are using s and p many times okay zoom it not much uh, not do zoom many okay default dict now define here int comma default dict then int enter enter now here we found the for for loop i in range length and then we found the length of our p string 
enter then count p then p square bracket i plus equals to 1 now here we copy it and then paste it now here i am writing s here and then i am writing s here also so enter now back backspace enter head comma tail equals to 0 and then comma then here we found the length of our p string okay then remove this now here we write if statement uh, to found uh, then count square bracket s we are defining our s string then it equals to equals to count here we founding the our p string then output then we define append okay append like you all know well, what is the use of append it uh, join two things together okay enter backspace while loop tail less than len now here we found the length of our s uh, as a string and then semicolon is very much to write it going equals to s and then head and then incoming equals to s tail enter enter count s then outgoing then minus equals to one and then give the space here now when you do this so here give the space here back now here this is to ensure i don't have daggling zero values because i use default date then dot then here i define one more comment in which i write the daggling zero values will cause the e equality check to fail then dot now if count then s then outgoing equals to equals to zero give the space then semicolon del count then s then here i am writing outgoing one more time enter backspace enter now count s incoming plus equals to one enter enter okay backspace backspace then enter if count uh, f11 if oh, sorry if count f equals to equals to count p output then we use the append method one more time like i have told you the function of the append method why we use the append method i have told you that already okay enter backspace enter head plus equals to one then tail plus equals to one then we return our output perfect now let's understand the question okay so here in this line here we this is ensure i don't have daggling zero values because i use one default date the daggling zero values will cause the equality check to the fail okay so let me come on it here and this 438 question file the all algorithms in a string we solve this question easier so let's read this and let's anagram an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase using all the original letters exactly one okay and here we find our all anagrams in a string so here you can see uh, let's run this question and let's see our question is right or not so when i run it so it is accepted in our case one our output will be coming zero and six in our case two our output will be coming zero one and two in the list form and let's see the submission of this code then we submit this code and then submission of this question is also be perfect so here you can see in today's video we solve our 438 question and here you can see it so if you enjoy this video so please like this video share your friends subscribe to my channel and don't forget to all the notification bell also so you never miss over these type of videos on this channel so now let me meet you in the next class and next free amazing like that type of videos so now for today goodbye